What's up guys, so after uploading the comparison video yesterday, it occurred to me that I missed a very crucial part in the comparison of these two uh, replica PEC 15s, and that is their functionality with the remote pressure switches on either of them. So I'm going to go through uh, each of the settings with the pressure switch and the element, um, the one on the right here, this is the element, the one on the left is the FMA. The element actually has a neat trick with the pressure switch that um, is one of the negatives that I found on the FMA itself. So I'm um, going through this first setting on both of them uh, with the pressure, pressure switch. Um, this is going to be your momentary illuminator on the FMA, whereas with the uh, element, it's a momentary as well. But um, with the element, the neat trick that the element has over the FMA is if you double click the pressure switch, it'll actually toggle the uh, light. Um, I believe this works for every mode on the element, whereas with the FMA it's just a standard pre-programmed mode, um, whereas with the element you have uh, pretty much two options for every setting. You'd have momentary, and then if you want to toggle it, you just double click it and then let go and it's toggled on there. So that's that setting. Moving to this next setting. This is the toggle switch um, for the illuminator on the FMA and that's actually just the off for the element so it doesn't do anything on that setting. Next setting here. The FMA, that's the laser, which is just a toggle. Again, no momentary laser for the FMA whatsoever. Um, on this one, it's actually the illuminator and laser. So you can have a momentary on that one. Or if you double click it, it'll toggle it. All right, next setting on these. This is the illuminator and laser on the FMA. Again, just a toggle switch with the pressure switch. And then on the element, that's your laser. So, again, momentary for the single push. And then you can double click it, and that is your toggle switch for the laser. And then the element has one more setting on it, which is going to be the IR laser, so you're not going to really be able to see that. So, can't really see that. And final setting for the FMA is the strobe, which again is just a toggle. We'll strobe on and off until you click it again. So yeah, uh, sorry I did not upload this in the original comparison video, but I think it stands um, as itself in its own video. So, thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe.